Welcome, Kenny. Welcome to FLH, everyone. This week, we've had a sensational start to the day. Kenny forgot his computer. I forgot my cigars. <laughs> this is how professional we are. Uh, Hang we on are. a minute. I've got a, this freaking thing continues. There we go. We Sorry. Now, you, you, well, your new system sends up a, a blocking thing that I have to clear before we can continue recording. Okay. I don't know why. Uh, we, we are professional, if nothing else. Okay. Today, we're doing I, the... Kind just, of wait, just wait, seriously. Yeah. I come down here and I think, I know I'm missing something. It takes me about three minutes to work out it's the computer. Uh, I finally get on. Rob sits down. Hang on. Five minutes while he looks for the missing cigars. So then he tells me, right, we're doing punch. So I go through absolutely everything. No, nah, I haven't got a punch. Yeah, we gave you a punch. No, nah, I haven't got a punch. You know, the punch, the, um, no, the upman, that'd be the one. So, it's just been non-stop top of our game today. You know, Ken, I love that saying that only the mediocre are always at their best. Yeah? We, <laughs> he's going to let yourself off the hook some days. We're not we going to get any We are aspiring to be mediocre today. Yeah, we are. We are. But anyway, you know what? This is the Connie too. And I reckon we've it. done these, but you reckon we haven't. Oh, we haven't done the Connie two, have we? No, M E L Mel November twenty, and I love them. Uh, I love the Connie two. It's it's gone straight into my rotation. It reminds me so much of it, it shares so many really good characteristics of uh, for me the BBF. It's got a little bit of mongrel in there too, and I I love them. I I can't keep my hands off them. Oh, um, I loved it last time we did it. Did you? I don't think we've done this, and if we have, well, it just sums up my day. And we're just going to do it again. Because I love it. I mean, the need for a cigar anyway, because I've had a shitty day, but I just need a cigar. And it's only 11.30 in the morning. So it's good. Um, I'm going to smoke what I want. I want to smoke a Connie too. And I know I've got a good, uh, some good mates, Robbie from Atlanta, et cetera, there, who, who don't like this cigar. They can't get this cigar at all. And so uh, no doubt. Get like, this, don't it. understand it or can't actually get hold of one. No, I didn't get hold of one. He's, he's, I think he's in the second box, Rob, but he doesn't okay. like it. He doesn't know. He hasn't got it to this point in time. It, it just doesn't resonate with him. And a lot of people compare this with the with the Connie with the Connie One, which is a much loved cigar because this comes at a heftier price point. But it's a, Connie One's a much uh, it's a much loved cigar. I I don't think this has got anything along the same lines. Anything in connected to the Connie One in terms of flavour and taste and body. Um, it's got um, it's certainly got Upman DNA. But it's a completely different animal. So no, let's go. Let's, let's go and try it. Now that I've just done a complete summary on this cigar without even goddamn lighting it. Um, well, you've got to admire a bloke who doesn't like a cigar, so buys a second box to check. Yeah, no, I, I love him. He's a good bloke. He's right at the top of your Christmas card list. A rhyme or a coal, Ken. Fairly muted, a little tiny bit of leather, tobacco leaf character. A bit more muted than normal. This yes, is my this is from my this is from my fourth box, this one here. So mm -hmm. that so I'm looking forward to trying this as well. What's your drawer like? Firm but fine. Mine's a bit easy. I'd swap right now if I was you. If I could. But it is what it is. You on your safety matches, Ken? Honestly, I couldn't light one of these in a forest fire. What are you doing? Like, we can't see a thing. Oh, and we can see the flames. I'm about to call the fire engine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at that. I knew a safety match. Look. We'll cut to the chase and we'll come back to you at the end of the first third. Kenny, first third of the uh, um, Well, third might be a, um, I mean, at about four uh, percent. Uh, yeah, I know that's my fault, but mine's drawing a bit quicker than yours. So, hence the reason for the first third commentary. Mine's, mine's bit, drawing nicely, um, yeah. but 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 quite firm. So it's just about, you know, 
it's the Goldilocks cigar, if you like. Um, spot on. Um, anyway, um, I'm loving this. This has got uh, uh, chocolate. Um, it's creamy dark uh, coffee. Creamy dark? No, that's not what I mean. Uh, it's creamy coffee, but there's also some dark chocolate. Um, it's soft. It's under medium. Uh, lots of flavour. Not a bump. Happy. Tons of flavour, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's what I love about these cigars. It's I mean, got flavour out the wazoo. They're not, they're not full-bodied cigars at all, but they've no. just got a ton of flavour. Um, that's the thing. You, you, you look at these and you think, oh, great big fat thing. They, you know, they'll knock your head off in that. But they don't. They're just... It's just I had, oh. had oh P one. Do Partigas still make P one? I haven't seen a P one for ages. They know the jar the P ones. Were they in the jar? The, you're talking about the small petite the petite uh, belly costa, yeah? Or petite pyramid, whatever they call them. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. There's yeah, but, uh, a little bit bigger than petite, I would have thought, but I, I found I had two in a box the other day. I don't know where I came. I found them when I cleaned out at your place, um, some of the cigars, and I took them down here and I thought. I haven't tried one of those for ages. Um, that, on the other hand, was not medium bodied. It was not full of flavour. Someone had put burnt rubber into it and turned it into a cigar the whole way through. It was rubber. Awesome. That, that wouldn't be a P1. That'd be a, was that a P2? Was it a proper P1? It wasn't P2, it was definitely P1. P1, there you go. Well, that, that's, that's disappointing because they're excellent cigars. You well, I've got one, one more to go, but this thing was... Well, I watched it with the State of Origin, so that was going to put a sour taste in anyone's mouth. Yeah, um, okay. but, that's not, So people don't write off the P1 yet because he's watching a football game and his team lost badly. It, 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 was, it was... It really you have, was... You have no badly. ability. You have zero ability to separate a bad experience from a cigar. Zero. That's not true. That's not true. You don't. Um, normally, normally, I pick a great cigar... Because I think if we're going to get a hiding, I may as well enjoy something. And I've had some wonderful cigars that way. Um, it hasn't saved well, the game. Yes, when we, when we win. No, no. no um, including when we don't. All right, fair enough. It's not true, people. Anyway. So, it is true. It is true. So come back. This, man who couldn't, this is a man who couldn't find his cigars today. Yeah. That's, would you trust him? Now, if this, goes, if this cigar goes along the same route that I've had... In other kind of twos, it's gonna you're gonna lose some of that flavour for the next quarter inch, and then it's gonna come right back again. Bang! It's gonna go to this. Let's find out how the second second turn goes. Yeah, it'll be the second four percent. Kenny, second, third, have you noticed it's got muted? There's a dip, yeah. It didn't have yeah. that same lovely flavours that sort of whoosh could, but it's starting to sort of swing back up again. And what's, I was just, it was, I, was talk, I was talking to Muzz on the deck on Friday. He was up having a cigar and they gave him one of these and uh, as a blind tasting at the point. And we were talking about it, how it starts beautifully, goes through a dip. And for me, everyone I've had comes back with a crescendo. On this, yeah. which I, yeah, for such a young cigar, I love the fact that um, the ones that I've tasted have got a level of complexity to them, which all augurs well for the, for the years to come. Mine's got a bit of a wonky burn, as you can see, but that you're outdoors, it's a bit breezy. With a bit of luck, it'll sort itself out. And it's young, but uh, no, still loving it, still good. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far, yeah. We'll be back with you at the end of the last third. Wooshka. Came back lovely and strong for me. Yeah, came back. Absolutely. Thoroughly enjoyable. As good as our last review of this. Wish. Nice start. Nice start. They're good cigars, folks. The Connie twos. I think they're going to be crackers and, and I think they're going to age well as well. Very no, different to the Connie one, mate. I mean, you've had plenty of Connie ones. Look, three or four years, I think. I'm not sure these are long, long termers. No, they don't need. I'd love 24 months. I just want to see them in 24 months. Yep. 
happy with that. You have to love a cigar that um, gives you a level of complexity and mouthfeel and richness. Um, and that's, that's what it does. They're a bit pricey. Are they? Yeah. For, for As opposed to everything else? Yeah. They don't miss you on your releases. Um, about us. So when did they, these come in? In 20? They came out last year, 2020. We really, we've really only seen decent volumes of them in the, in the last three or four months. And some parts of the world haven't seen any still. But they sort of drift in, they drift out. But if you see some, pick some up. I think they're worthwhile. As I said, they're part of my rotation. Um, and I, I just love smoking as they are right now. What are you going to give it, Ken? 91, 92? Yeah, spot on, 91, 92. And they've been consistently 91, 92 since I smoked my first one. Again, this is from the fourth different box that I've smoked. Remarkably consistent. If anything, it's a little bit lighter than the others, but just as much flavour. Mm. Just as much flavour. Starting to get a little bit hot. But, yeah. Fair enough. Done. Good stuff. Good to go. On to the magic rabbit next, Ken, next week. So back to the same rabbit. Yep. The bad yep. rabbit. Yeah, we'll do that, one, do that review next. Maybe a little later on this week. We'll see Again. We go. Again, since I lost the last one. My fault. Mia culpa. Anyway, to all our friends on the forum, thank you so much. Yeah, Have a great week. Hasta luego. Cheers.